What's up guys, it's Jules. Time for another weekly cross-stitching life update. And uh, we are here once again on a Wednesday. This time it's a Wednesday night. I did not record this earlier. Um, a lot of times I've been recording these at midday if I come for lunch, which I haven't been able to in a couple weeks, or um, sometimes on Tuesday night. But uh, last night we lost internet and I was, uh, yeah, I just didn't feel like doing anything after that. I was like, I'm going to bed. Oh, look at you. The hamster's on the wheel. You need to be on the wheel. Like, I need to be on the wheel. Look at her go. I don't know if I can see this. I'm going to mess this up. I'm going to mess this up. Can I do this? Oh, I took a picture of myself. Anyway, she's on the wheel. I'll show you a video of it sometime later. We got the hamster all set up in a, on a new stand with a new cage. And uh, yeah, that's about what I do. Like about 15 seconds of working out. And I'm like, yeah, I'm done. Let's, let's go check the food out. Oh, no, wait. She's getting back on. Now she's going the other direction. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. The will to actually work out. Give me some of that motivation, sister. Anyway, uh, cross-stitching update. Birds are loud. Hamster's going. There's a lot of distractions right now for me to try and get this video done. So I'm going to stare at this camera right now. Uh... I didn't get the vlog out this week. Part of it was because of the whole internet fiasco. Let's talk first about cross stitch. Let's talk about what we have gotten done so far. By we, I mean me, because I can't get any of these other guys to stitch for me. Um, let's start with a little bit, very little bit of rainy water place. Very little. I kind of just put a little bit more color on the insides, although I'm not sure how well you can see that. But it is coming in nicely. I kept the hoop in on this project because I wanted to start this back up tonight. <coughs> there we go. There we go. It is right here. Cross Stitch Collectibles. If you haven't checked out the video that I did on Cross Stitch Collectibles website this week, um, I picked them because I do a lot of their projects. I've got this one. I've got a pop tray shop. I've got baseball. Downstairs on the stitchy wall, I've got the New York City 1919 street scene. So I do a lot of cross stitch collectibles. I've never had a problem. They do great work. So that's why I did them first. Um, next week, um, I'll probably do a big one. I'll probably do like Heaven and Earth Designs. I'll do some of the bigger ones first, and then we'll move on to some of the, the, the lesser big, super big ones. Excuse me. Ah, whee! All right. Bears. Stop, bears. So I did realize in doing this, I was always worried. Here's the ironic thing. I was always worried that I had made a mistake about like this area here. And maybe I did, maybe I should have moved it over like one spot, but I definitely have too much of a space right here. Um, and I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna kind of fill it in and it'll be fine. I'll just keep going. So I got the C finished. I realized as I started on the A, as I was going back, I'm like, why does this look different? And so, um, but that's what I that's what I kind of got working on. So I'm over halfway through the lettering, which is good. So I'm just going to continue to work on the A, and then at that point I might go back and fill in all this little all this little stuff right through here. Wee wee wee, let's go bears! Wee 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 wee. All right, I've got some Reaper action, and uh, definitely getting more done on this one, getting closer to that page finish. So came across, I did. A, I think I did both a lighter and a darker color, but I definitely filled in the dark, the dark, all the way through here. I filled in this section down here, so I got a lot done this week. I'm not quite ready for a page finish, but I'm getting a lot closer. So, it's coming together, guys. It's coming together. Pretty sleek. Pretty, pretty, pretty sleek. Pretty slick. Pretty cute. I can't talk. I can't talk when I got birds talking to me. Birds! Cowboy. Sailor, Popeye, what are their names again? Guys, it's the white one, Sailor, over and over and over and over. He just talks. All right, so I'm ready to row. Let's see. This way. So I came down this, I finished, well, I didn't finish, but you can see by where I started, I got down to here. And then I filled in a little bit more down here. So just this little, almost looks like a leg, like a peg leg. But I got all the way down through there. So slowly but surely working on this because this is 18 count. And this is a lot of stitching, kids. It's a lot of stitching. Yay! Um, 
And then I got, oh, I need to pull out a pop carry shop. Uh, and I got, well, I still had, did I get any work done on this? I don't think so. There we go. Is that right? That's right. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Books are loud. Sorry. Hold on a second. Time out. Okay. Sorry. I had to cover the birds because they're driving me crazy. I should probably come up here. Everything's driving me crazy. <laughs> um, so they're, uh, they're still going to make noise, but they won't be quite as bad because they're not staring at me and chirping at me. So I should probably come up here and like talk for just random 20 minutes before I actually start making the video, but I don't have that kind of time. So <clears throat> anyway, so that is that going on. So, um, I contacted Gecko Rouge about my um, floss pack and or about my floss numbers and sadly they won't actually give me the DMC floss so like I have um, so for those of you who don't know if you're new to the channel so I had a, a dachshund cross stitch that I really really am working hard on for a friend or I was at some point um, and I lost it and so I need to start over and I'm not gonna have enough floss to um, finish the job needless to say and so um, I contacted them and said, hey, can, is there any way that I can just get the DMC numbers for this um, project? Because I, um, you know, I lost the project. I need to start over. I'm not going to have enough floss. And I sent them like the, sent them different materials from the, from the cross stitch pattern to show them that I did have the pattern. It was mine. And they have some copywriting concerns, which is, they're valid. I mean, they're honestly very valid because the, the whole thing when we pass the stash, and you finish something and then you give it to somebody else, that's, that's definitely a copyright infringement. And so um, that hurts cross-stitch pattern designers and I'm all for helping cross-stitch pattern designers. It's big, a big thing with my, uh, with my channel. So totally fine with that. So they're gonna let me know as far as like what I can do in terms of buying certain colors or certain, uh, a certain color pack with them, which is fine. The colors were beautiful. And so they're right they're directly from the factory in France. So um, that's fine. If I have to do that, that's what I'll do. Cause I gotta get this thing done. And I am, I am bound and determined to get this thing, to get this thing done. So I'm um, just waiting to hear back from them on that and we'll be good to go. Um, uh, I did clean old world map two. It is clean now. Um, yeah, that was a very disheartening, um, thing to see. And so, uh, but anyway, so it's regretted and I'm going to get back to working on it and finish the page up. So that was a, like a week's delay on top of another week's delay. So no worries, no worries. We're going to get it done. Um, what else is going on cross stitch wise, cross stitch wise? I need to get more needles. I found a bunch of needles. Needless to say, when we cleaned a little bit, found some needles, but, uh, I definitely need to, um, probably need to order some more just because I'm always losing them. They're probably in the carpet. When we, Whenever we change the carpet out, there's going to be so many needles. I'm going to have to tell the poor guys that rip it out, just be careful of all the needles because they're everywhere, I'm sure. Same thing with my stitchy chair that I don't use anymore because my dogs won't let me because they basically crawl all over me if I sit in the chair and they can kind of get full access to me. And this is the sad thing. I sit at an L-shaped office um, at a, a, a desk so it's like this, and then I sit kind of right here. And the dogs will come on either side constantly and be like nudging me and doing stuff and nudging me and doing all the time, especially if Jelly's nervous because there's a storm or something. And I just can't get anything done. I mean, it's nonstop. And no matter what I do, I play with them, I hug them and love them, take them for a walk, anything, and they're constantly doing that. So sadly, what we had to do this past week, we had a long piece of drywall that we had in the garage that we had not used and it's like about four feet long about two and a half feet tall or something we literally like if you go back and look at my l-shaped desk i sit right here we put it like across here so i'm barricaded into my desk but the dogs can't nudge me i can i can reach over and pet them and i do but they can no longer come up and just tap me tap me tap me tap me, tap me constantly which is just i can't get anything i can't get anything done if when that's the case so um that's kind of sad other news on the dog front is toe for head surgery this week um my little toe toe my pug beagle mix he been having a lot of reverse sneezing um it just really been building in its um severity of the attacks and the the frequency of the attacks and reverse sneezing is exactly what it sounds like. It's, it's kind of like a, 
I'm not going to do it. It's a snarfling. You, just, you can Google it and find out what it looks like, but it's sort of a snarfling noise. And it comes from, most of the time it comes from a little flap in the back of your throat that covers up your windpipe. Um, or in his case, it was an elongated soft palate. So his soft palate comes down the back of his throat and it had basically it was so long that it was covering his, the hole where his esophagus, or esophagus, his trachea was. So it was literally doing that. And so he was trying to pop it out it kept tickling the top of his trachea. So he kept trying to like, <laughs> trying to get it out. And so what I did was, in case you don't know, I'm a veterinarian. So I operated on my own dog, of course. And uh, so what I did was I went in and I just trimmed back this piece of tissue. And uh, so I trimmed it back, sewed it up, fixed his nostrils. I opened up his nostrils more, gave him a nose job basically. Um, and he, uh, is doing great. Uh, he had a couple small little episodes the first night and that was Monday night. And then it's been two nights later and I haven't heard a peep from him. So he's, uh, he's doing really, really well. And he seems a lot happier. I think he's breathing a lot easier and that'll give him energy and make him feel better. So that's good news. Very good news. Um, we're coming up on the big party, um, the dog party they have in town uh, every year. The one where Zuzu gets to go to the pool. And we're excited about that. I stopped off and got Zuzu a name tag today. Because um, for whatever reason, every year we always lose her name tag. And so she got a new pink name tag so she can go. She's the only one of the six that gets to go. Um, the others have a variety of issues why they can't go. Um, Let's just start with Fargo's too scared and paranoid and would not enjoy himself. He'd constantly be growling and barking at everybody. Um, Topher doesn't listen really well. So if he goes off someplace, he's a good boy at the dog park, but he's not great about coming back. And there's so many dogs at this thing in a confined space that I just, I don't trust them. Um, Jelly's way too scared. Oh, Doogie doesn't listen. Um, Doogie, uh, I took Doogie to the, um, to this thing when it was, I don't know, years ago when we were, it was just the two of us and I took him and he didn't listen to me for one second the entire time he was there. When he's, fo well, I shouldn't say when he's focused cause Doogie doesn't focus. Doogie just blanks his mind out and just goes in a straight direction. He does, he puts his head down, he just goes. And he's funny like that because we were on one side of the pool and he was like, I know I need to be on the other side of the pool. And he just dives right in <laughs> and he's like trying to swim across and he gets over there and somebody else has to pick him up out of the pool. And then he just heads directly for the vendor area and he proceeds to then steal food out of almost every vendor's purse or bag. He wasn't about the dog treats. People brought food to this thing in their own bags and coolers and things, and that's all he did was go around and try and steal everybody's food. So we had to, we had to leave because of that. So uh, he doesn't get to go because he doesn't. I can't ever find him. I just can't. It's a big enough place. I can't find him. He just, he just goes. Um, Jelly's too scared in the sense of the people. The dog she would like, but I think there's so many people there that she wouldn't really like it. And I don't know if she can swim or not, so I don't really want to take her. And then Bailey... Bailey is really good. Bailey likes to pull a lot and she would be really good. The problem is that if there is a problem with another dog, she's definitely Mama Bailey and she's the fight breaker upper or she's the settler downer. But that sometimes looks bad in a situation where there's two dogs that are like whatever and she'll run over and just push herself in the middle and be like, what's going on here? You know? And and it looks bad to people who don't know her and that don't know, you know, everything. She also doesn't back down. So if anybody, you know, kind of fussed at her a little bit, it would be an issue. And her hips are so bad that I kind of don't want to take her and overdo it. And Zuzu can barely handle about two hours before she's exhausted because she has bad hips too. And um, so, but that's a week from this Saturday. So that's... I'll be sure to take a video. We'll definitely be doing a video that day. Um, that'll be the, the video of the day for... Um, the pet channel. So, uh, I did a video this week on the pet channel for the gerbil and I've got another pet, I've got another like dog and cat video that I got to put up and, um, yeah, so it's all good. Oh man. But yeah, the internet went out last night. Uh, it was about eight o'clock, seven thirty, eight o'clock and we were both on and it just kind of went out, came back in, went out and then the Wi-Fi stayed on for a little bit and then it died. 
and we tried all kinds of things. Um, I mean, all the standard. We're both very good with computers, so we tried all kinds of things, and eventually contacted Comcast, and they checked it out, and they're like, everything is fine on our side. On our side, your modem is simply not responding to us, and it has been running so hot since we, like, for at least for the last week, and I know, I think it's been two weeks since we put it in, but when you touch it, it is so hot um, that I, we think it just burned out or it just wasn't, it was a defective one or whatnot. So Mark is at, um, my husband Mark is at a computer store, um, very good computer store in the area, uh, picking up a, a better, a good uh, modem, router, Wi-Fi, all that stuff. He's going to take care of that, thank goodness, uh, because I have little to no patience right now for that kind of thing. Um, because I dealt with that all last Thursday. That was a couple of hours last Thursday, trying to get the internet switched over and working on that. So, blah, 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 blah. so I'm not, I'm not up for that. Otherwise, it's been a productive week. Uh, a lot of things going on at work that are good. Um, it's gotten cooler at times here, but today it seems so hot. It was only like 87, but oh, it seems so hot. Um, I just got, I just stopped off at the pet store, and I got a new. I got all kinds of new things. Birds, I got you. I mean, you're quiet now, but I got the birds a little treat to see if they'll like it. And um, it's like a honey and egg, one of those seed things. And then I got um, I got the Pleco, Plecostomus. I know I say that wrong. Plecosaurus, Pleca, whatever, Pleco. Um, I got him a new cover thing. Um, he's just... He's so paranoid. So I got him like a, it's actually like a, it's probably a lizard hide or whatever, but this was the biggest one I could find. It's like a half, it's like this, and it's like a mound of wood and it's got a, like a tunnel underneath of it. It's pretty big. So I'm going to set that in and I hope that it's big enough that he will feel comfortable to go inside there and just stay because he's such a chicken about everything. And, um, so, and then I think I'm going to transfer, um, the really big orange, blood orange parrot fish back into that tank, um, give him more swimming room. And then um, we're probably gonna get, we're probably, well, we definitely are gonna at some point this fall, we're gonna get a new bigger tank and put a bunch more fish in it. But um, for now, I'm just gonna move some guys around because I just, they need more space. Everybody just needs more space. So yeah. Anyway, oh my goodness, we just gave everybody space. The hamster is doing wonderful. Uh, she's uh, she's enjoying her patrolling and going up and down and all around. And it's a much smaller cage, and it's more appropriate versus the the bird cage because as you watch the video, I mean, she's crawling up like a foot and a half and then falling off or jumping off from a foot and a half and landing on her feet, and then she's gonna get herself hurt. And uh, so we put her in this other one, which she can only climb up. It's maybe about seven or eight inches. And uh, she's, I haven't been seeing her do that too much. The uh, gecko is doing great. Carter is doing really, really well. And uh, he's, he's good. Cat, Merc, 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 is sleeping on top of some plastic over here. He's out, man. His eyes, he's like, he's out. And so he likes it when I come up and talk to myself, to you guys. Oh, outside of that, I'm tired. We had a, um, this big piece of, like, th we had this big display case. Look at that. I've got floss right there. We had this big display case at work that has been there for 25 years or whatever, and it's really heavy wood. It's really nice, but we just were remodeling. We don't have room for it, so we were giving it away to whoever would want it. The downside is, is that it is very good wood. It is very heavy. The glass is very thick, um, and it's just, it's difficult, and um, the person who ended up getting it was this little tiny lady she was strong though don't get me wrong she was a massage therapist so she was strong and uh she brought in this minivan and it took us about a half an hour i think to move this thing out of the clinic and into her minivan and i'm pleased with myself because a i'm stronger than i used to be which is good because i used to be really strong and then i've gotten weak and now i'm getting a little stronger two i don't feel too terrible today after helping her put that thing in there because I don't even know how we got it in there. It was like, it was, it was nuts. And that thing is so heavy. We had, oh, anyway, it was just, it was like me and her, um, because nobody else was really very strong. And so, uh, 
So I'm tired today. I was tired yesterday. I think that's why we went to bed last night. <clears throat> the internet goes out 8 o'clock. We're in bed by like 8.15. I'm like, I'm done. I can't. I can't possibly do anything. I can't possibly listen to a book or cross stitch or whatever. I can't do a thing um, because I just, uh, I don't know. It's the internet's out and we're done. It's, it's silly. And then this morning, my husband went to the Stone Age. To the Stone Age. He was watching a DVD. Do you know what a DVD is? Some of you youngins might not know what a DVD is. He actually had, thank goodness, we still had our big thick packet of DVDs. Why we have them, I don't know. But he, he found one and he put it in because I was like, what? How is he watching that? And then I saw that the DVD was in the PlayStation. So that's how he was able to watch something this morning, which was good because we don't do well without the internet. Everything revolves around the internet in our house. So please come home and fix the internet because otherwise I don't know how this video is going to go up on time. Um, I'll probably have to go back to work and upload it, but um, hopefully that won't happen. I know you guys are going to see this on Thursday morning because it's going to go up no matter what. I'm going to make it happen, but for the most part, um, we're just going to wait and see when it goes up. So I think that's it. Uh, I need to do some videos. we got a long weekend, but i got to work, so it's you know, back and forth. It's all good. Um, I think that's it. I gotta get caught up on all your questions and answers and everything. All right, I'm done. I gotta get downstairs and see if he's home. I don't think he's home. I haven't heard the dogs bark, but I gotta go do the dishes and I gotta go and get everything ready to get the new internet in. So I will see you guys later. Have a great week. Have a safe weekend. Happy stitching. And I will see you guys.